Hey guys, John Rettinger here with an unboxing for you of the new Motorola Droid for Verizon Wireless. This is one that I'm really excited to get my hands on. You've seen the ad campaigns with Droid does all over TV. It's supposed to be Motorola's savior in the second coming of Android. And uh, I'm really looking forward to checking this sucker out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rip into the package. Just came from FedEx, and of course we'll use the obligatory big O knife. I can open this without slicing my finger off. So far, so good. All right, so let's see what we got in the pack. We've got looks like a pretty substantial press kit. We'll take a look at that uh, a little later. This is actually one of the uh, one of the bigger press kits that I've seen. And here we have the Motorola Droid with my name on it. It's got a very small box. This is um. Looks to be new for Verizon packaging. It's very minimalist. It seems to be the trend nowadays. It's got a picture of the Droid right on the front. That new sort of Droid logo. Now, while this phone is the Droid, it's not going to be the last in the Droid lineup. Uh, Verizon is branding a whole series of phones under the Droid name. This is just the first one. I haven't been this excited about a Motorola device since the first Razer, so hopefully a lot of people feel the same for Motorola stockholder shake. So we've got a picture of the droid on the front, full QWERTY keyboard and that little creepy eye. Telling you what the package contains. We're going to see what the package contains in just a minute. And the device closed with the droid-like eye. And this is a with Google Experience phone. So there's not a skin on top of this. This is just running the newest version of Android 2.0. So I'll take the device out of the box. Make sort of a mangled screen protector on it. Go ahead and take that out and put it off to the side for just a second. Feels a little heavier than I expected. And let's see what else we get in the box. Pull off the top. Not that much in the box. We get a charging cable, and this charges by micro USB. So hooray for non proprietary formats and uh, some getting started information uh, in the box. But the box is probably not what you're here to see. Here we have the Motorola Droid. Let's peel back this crazy looking screen protector to reveal a massive 3.7 inch capacitive touchscreen. This thing is huge. Let's go over some of the specs just real quickly, the ones you probably care most about. The battery is a 1400 milliamp hour, so that means you're going to get about 6.4 hours of talk time and about 270 hours of standby time. Screen resolution is pretty good at 480 by 854 pixels and again a 3.7 inch screen. This does have a 5 megapixel camera on the back, which Motorola and Verizon are claiming is capable of shooting DVD uh, video. It shoots video at 720 by 480 and 24 frames per second. It's got full autofocus, image stabilization, and a flash, which is pretty cool. And this does, of course, have a micro SD card in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device. So here you've got your ridiculously large, and I'll do a comparison in a minute, uh, 3.7 inch capacitive touchscreen with four capacitive buttons down below. On the side of the device you've got your micro USB charging port. On the right side, it's like you've got your camera key and your volume toggle up and down. On the back there is your very impressive 5 megapixel camera and of course when you slide the sucker out, which is not a spring assisted slide, you gotta slide it all the way up you get a full QWERTY keyboard with directional D-pad. On first blush, the keys are, are very flat. They don't seem to have any sort of dome on them. I think it's one of those keyboards that will take some time to get used to, but certainly having a full keyboard uh, is a huge advantage, at least in my opinion. Let's do a quick size comparison, and then we'll power this sucker on. Throw the box on the floor. Here it is with the iPhone 3GS. You definitely see that the screen size on the Droid looks just a little bit bigger. And one of the other hot new devices out for Verizon Wireless, you may be considering, the BlackBerry Storm 2. You can see how these things stack up. Now from what's, what I hear, what's most impressive about the Droid is the thickness. Take a look at that. It's not that much thicker than the iPhone 3GS, yet it does have the full slide-out keyboard, which is fantastic. And of course, running Android it's going to have a on-screen keyboard as well. And the thickness compared to the Storm 2, I think the Storm 2, yeah, the Storm 2 is even thicker than the Droid. So it really goes to show what a very impressive job Motorola did. Let's power this sucker on. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. 
Oh, and on top you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and your power and lock button. Let's see if this has any charge to it. Well, oftentimes these things come totally dead. Let's see if it at least has enough for a boot up. And it looks like it does. So you get the Motorola logo. And if those of you that are wondering why this has a little bit of a chin, this is where all the, uh, all the radios are. And that was one of the ways that Motorola was able to keep this device so thin. So you get that new sort of droid boot up screen with that red eye. And now we are welcome to Droid. Touch the Android to begin. And we're going to go through the main um, setup process that you're familiar with on other devices. So guys, this is uh, John Rettinger with an unboxing of the Motorola Droid. We're going to have a ton of coverage on the Droid. We're going to go head-to-head -head with a lot of phones. We're going to demonstrate Google's beta turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigation service. We're going to put this thing through the paces. Um, so be sure to stick around to the channel and uh, to Techno Buffalo. For exclusive content, be sure to check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers and for more on Techno Buffalo, go to technobuffalo.com. Links to both will be in the sidebar. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.